Okay, this is BloodyCajunMMA.com, and we're here with Eric Scallon from Team Gladiator. You're going to be fighting uh, Derek Francis this Friday on Bellator 61. Uh, well, just tell us a little bit about yourself, you know. Uh, I'm uh, originally from uh, Metairie, Louisiana. Um, I grew up, I went to wrestle through Holy Cross High School. Uh, I was involved in wrestling since I was about nine years old, so it's always uh, really the only sport I ever really did. Uh, okay. The only thing I ever really excelled at. You didn't play football or nothing like that, huh? No, I did. I didn't really like getting hit too much. You know, when I was younger, <laughs> I ran cross country for a little bit, but you know, wrestling was always you know my main focus. Yeah, it was your you know, cup so, of tea, huh? Yeah, so I mean, I, I placed uh, fourth, third, and uh, second in wrestling, and um, I went and wrestled up at uh, Gannett College. It's an NAIA school up in Nebraska. Okay. Uh, I went and transferred over to uh, Warburg College, which is a Division three school, uh, and uh, also in Northern Iowa. So um, I had a pretty good experience with that, and uh, that's when I moved to Lafayette and uh, got into my MMA career. Well, what brought you to Lafayette? Was it school or was it was it was it MMA? Yeah, I, I was. Uh, I wasn't really mature enough, you know, to uh, really handle being out of state and living on my own. So, you know, I had to move somewhere close to home, and I really had to focus on uh, getting my degree and everything. So, um, what'd you study? Uh, I have a bachelor of science in uh, psychology. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Comes in handy with this, I imagine. Yeah, huh? right, you know, a lot, <laughs> lot of psychos I deal with. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, well, how did you end up training with, with Tim? I mean, once you moved to Lafayette, did Yeah, well, it started off, we started training off with, uh, with uh, Harry Dion. Um, he had a little karate dojo, and uh, you know, he, he, had, he had a lot of you know, martial arts experience, but not really you know, MMA experience, uh, per se. So it was really, you know, me and Dustin started training at the same time. Dustin had just his, his crazy street fighting experience, and, you know, and I had my wrestling experience. You know, we just started training together, and you know, a lot of guys came in. We had uh, Aaron Phillips jo join us, uh, uh, Michael, Michael Guidry, uh, they're both professional now, both undefeated. You know, uh, so really, you know, uh, Dustin started training with uh, with Michael Lopez. He went over there and started doing jujitsu, and then he was coming back by uh, by our place, and he was just hitting me with triangles and arm bars <laughs> and everything. I'm like, man, you know, uh, what's going on? Huh? Yeah, what's going on? I was like, you got to teach me something. I got to do something different. You know, from there, and I really started cross training. And I went and started training uh, at Michael Lopez. I started training with Josh RT. Mm -hmm. And then we all heard, you know, Tim Crater. You know, the, the Tim Crater's, you know, coming to town. He's going to open up his own, own gym. So, um, yeah, Tim moved to town. And we moved over, man. And uh, the rest is history. And, uh, you know, Tim really showed us what, what it really means to be a mixed martial artist. You know, the, you know, there's so much BS, you know, in this sport. You know, it's not all about, you know, uh, the graphic t-shirts and all that <laughs> stuff, you know, um, really showed us, you know, real jiu-jitsu, you know, um, practicing, you know, practical judo and, uh, you know, really helped us with what we, we had boxing coaches and we had kickboxing coaches and we had everything and he really taught us how to blend it together, mm -hmm. you know, really taught us about nutrition, you know, like discipline, you know, and that, one thing in wrestling, I mean, I guess the, it's one thing they really emphasize, you know, just for, you know, bettering yourself as a person. And, that's one thing Miss Mark Dodge kind of focused on. It's about you know bettering yourself physically, mentally, and uh, even spiritually. Yeah. Well, yeah, he kind of seems to be able to bring that, bring that a, a synergy with all those different aspects together for you guys. You know, and, and yeah, Tim Dorn brought it together, man. He's the one um, really brought you know, MMA to Louisiana. You know, him and uh, Rich Clemente, you know, that they really set it off for us. Yeah. Especially way back in the day. Well, uh, what, what's your what's your current record? My current record is uh, 11 and three. I uh, have uh, eight submissions. Um, all, the, all those submissions come within two minutes. Uh, I have a pretty, pretty unique uh, submission style. You know, it's really, uh, really, uh, they're kind of developed from, you know, from a wrestling game. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people, a lot of their submission game is from off their back. You know, and I, it's something that I mean, you, you can't win a fight from off your back. So should I, be there to begin with. <laughs> right. So I mean, that's something I learned. I learned to take people down. I learned to you know, get that submission as quickly as possible. And a lot of people don't see it coming. You know, mm -hmm. they really don't train with you know. With my caliber of a wrestler who has that submission skill. Well, uh, what what I mean, I know that you you know fought at a lot of you know local promotions, all, all of the local promotions, you know, really. But what are some of the you know, the next step up, the, the more the more regional promotions that you fought for? You know, outside of you know Lafayette and. Well, and as, you know, as far as Lafayette, you know, you had USA MMA, you have um, Global Fighting Alliance. Um, I fought for some guys in Texas, uh, Undisputed MMA, uh, One Fight League. Uh, 
Um, the main company I've been with, now I guess you can still kind of consider that a local promotion. It is. Uh, it was uh, Atlas Lights, uh, Glen Matina. You know, they, they took a they took a real liking to me, and uh, I, I fought four four times for them. Okay. You know, and, and that was really cool. Heading over to Biloxi and the casino and everything. But I mean, as far as you know, I mean, really, all you have in the sport is a lot of you know local shows. I mean, that's what it really is. It's a bunch of local promotions, and then you have you know Bellator, Strike Force, UFC. Yeah. So I mean, that's really come down big, to big disparity there. Huh? Right, right. Well, speaking of Bellator. Uh, you just signed with them. You'll be fighting this, this Friday on uh, Bellator 61 on uh, the undercard, and it's going to be televised on Spike. I'm sorry, it's going to be um, broadcast on Spike.com, right? All right, Spike.com. I believe Bellator.com too. Oh, Bellator.com too. All right. Well, um, you, you fight a guy named Derek Krantz, and he, he's a veteran. You know, he's, he's been around for a long time. I believe he's even fought Dustin, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, can you tell us a little bit more about him and what you know about him, what his style is? And Derek, I mean. I mean uh, me and Dustin have been watching Derek for a long, long time. You know, if you fight in Louisiana or you fight in Texas, you know who Derek Grant is. I mean, he's got like 20 to 30 amateur fights. Uh, I believe his record is 10-5. Uh, you know, but everyone he's ever lost to, you know, he lost to Dustin Poirier, he lost to Bush Clemente, you know, two UFC fighters. Yeah. He lost to two Strike Force fighters, and he also lost to a guy, actually lost to uh, Sean Spencer, who's also signed a one fight uh, deal with, uh, with Bellator. Okay. So he hasn't lost to anyone tough. As far as his style, man, he's got this dangerous grounding now. He's not your uh, traditional wrestler, but he's, got, he's very strong, and he can take you down, he can get on top of you, and, uh, and it's, he doesn't do this pity pat grounding pound. I mean, he hits you. Not just staying busy, he's trying oh, to do yeah. damage, huh? Yeah, he's, he's going <laughs> to knock you out. You know, so I definitely look to be a lot more technical in this fight. You know, my last fight against Daniel Ruiz you know, was a 25-minute fight. Wow. You know, so my cardio is there. You know, this is going to be my third fight in three months. Nice. You know, there has been no break, no rest. You know, I have, uh, I have a goal. You know, and I really you know, big things are going to happen for me this year. You know, that this is my time. This is my moment. And you really don't get you know many second chances in life. And uh, I've had more than uh, more than my fair share of chances. You know, and um, it's time to cash in. Yeah, now, now's the time, man. So. I don't know. Well, do um, you have any um, you know, sponsors or you know, Twitter feed or anything like that you want to you yeah, you know, send out there? You know, Gladiators Academy of Lafayette, you know, everyone's helped me out. Um, Plant Nutrition, Plant Nutrition, actually, they've helped me out since I was an amateur. Uh, uh, beat the Sleep, Beat the Sleep, uh, I just got with them. There you go. Uh, they've been helping me out, and I mean, they're the guys, you know, will help me out on a financial level and also you know, on a personal level, too. They've really been helping me out, but uh, check me out on, on Twitter. Uh, Eric Scallon, and uh, look me up on Facebook. All right, man. Well, we appreciate your time, man, and good luck. We'll all be watching. Thank you, man.